Hey guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators, the show where we are preserving our Masonic history through telling the stories of some of the items that we've collected over the years, uh, Masonic items that is, by telling their unique story, their history, or how we got them, or what that item means to us. And today I want to talk to you about Royal Arch Chapter Coins. Um, I received my first chapter coin after I received the degrees in my own Royal Arch Chapter, Waukegan Royal Arch Chapter number 41 in Waukegan, Illinois. Uh, which meets, coincidentally, in my home Blue Lodge uh, building. Uh, we have a really unique coin or token, but it's not the coin that I carry with me. I know a lot of guys don't carry their coins, some do, and um, whatever the case may be for that, but I actually carry a different one. But before I show you the one I carry, I'll show you a couple what they look like, I'll show you the one that I was given, and then I'll show you the one I carry. So let's start it off. Now these coins are interesting in their symbology. Uh, Royal Archmasons, we'll see a lot on here. You can read what it says yourself. I'm not gonna read it for you. Uh, in the center is of course the Ark of the Covenant. Now, the reverse of this coin, you can see the words help in the middle. And uh, it says Supreme Conclave. Now this is an aluminum coin. It's very thin, it's very lightweight, and uh, not much substance. Here is another one. This one is copper and of course has the iconic imagery of the Ark of the Covenant in the center. This is from Mount Vernon Royal Arch Chapter in Roxbury, Massachusetts. The reverse of the coin says one penny and has the initials K-S-H-T-W-S-S-T. Royal Archmasons will know what that means, including when they have their little funny saying that it goes along with it to help you remember what it really means. Pretty neat. Chisel and the setting wall. This is my Royal Arch coin. Now, I understand it is more of a medallion with the uh, hook on the top there, the loop for a string or whatever. Um, but it actually says Waukegan Royal Arch Chapter, number 41, Waukegan, Illinois. It has the keystone along with the uh, initials around the outside. The reverse has this, and that is not mirror imaged. Uh, so those of you who understand, cool. Um, I can't really go into further detail on here, but uh, our chapter coin is quite unique in that I have not seen another like it. But this is, of course, not the one I carry. The one I actually carry stays with me in my dues card wallet. Yes, that's right, I have a dues card wallet, like most guys. Well, maybe most guys don't have them, but anyway, in here I've got all my dues cards, and I also carry my chapter coin that I do carry right here. Now, the story behind this particular coin is that uh, this was given to me by my wife's father, who received it from his father, who received it from his father, uh, in their Royal Arch chapter where he's from. Now, he gave me my first Masonic ring also. Uh, so you may remember that story. If you don't know it, uh, go back in uh, our video history and uh, check out that episode to hear a little bit more about it. But when uh, my father-in-law, Steve, found out that I was becoming a Royal Arch Mason, he knew the custom and uh, he gave me this after uh, I was completed as, as a seventh degree uh, Royal Arch Mason. Now, this coin is quite unique also. There's nothing really in the center though. It says Anchor Chapter Number 67, Royal Arch Masons, Minneapolis, Minnesota. The reverse has the keystone. It says instituted October 17th, 1900 and has the familiar one penny, or as we say in chapter one, shekel. But there you have it. Uh, that is my Royal Arch token and I keep it in my deuce card wallet. <laughs> and uh, it's just one of those things that Masons like to keep on them. Uh, I'm never caught dead without my briefcase and in my briefcase are several of my uh, Masonic documents that I need to perform different Masonic duties that I have, whether I'm a secretary or uh, whatever for 
any number of organizations just like you, I'm sure. I want to extend an invitation to submit your own Masonic Curator video right here on this channel. Go to MasonicCurators.com to check out the submission guidelines, and I will do whatever I can do to help you tell your story. So until next time, take care.